Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as y'all can see by the title today, I'm gonna be installing a wig on myself. I ain't never did this before. This is my first time, and y'all, I might be looking a mess after this video. No, I'm just playing. I actually have a lot of confidence in myself, to be honest, because I've been watching, like, a lot of videos. I'm going to take my time. I just wanted to get out a video for y'all because y'all know I'm supposed to be filming every day, period. So, I'm going to just film with this. We're going to have some fun. I'm probably going to be looking at mess. I'm just, ah, I don't know. But we're going to see, y'all. We is going to see. Y'all see my little wig I got right here? Um... I got this wig from Amazon. I'll leave it down in the description below because I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the company name on here, but I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all the wig. Here is how it's looking. Um, I did do some plucking up in here. I did not bleach the knots. I'm not gonna try to bleach the knots because I'm probably gonna mess that up. I don't trust myself with that. So I'm not gonna do that. But I did buy like all of the necessities I need to like try to get that melt without bleaching the knot. So we're gonna see how that is. But yeah, this is what the hair is giving. It's 28 inches, 180 density. It's straight. So real simple, real cute. I think this is a 13 by four or it might be a 13 by six. I'm not sure, but yeah, like I said, if y'all want the wig, it'll be down in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all like what came in the um the little packaging or whatever. So it came with this um what it, what they call this? A milk lace thing. Yeah, I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad. What is this? A lace band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lace band. You got a pink side. You got a black side. I'm probably gonna use the pink side because period, period, period. And yeah, that's just that. This came in it. Um, some wig caps came in it. It came with two. They were like this. They're this color. So, yeah. And then it came with like a mini Velcro thing. I think it was like another like lace band, but it was like too short. So, that's over there. I don't think I'm going to use that. I don't think I'm going to need that. But that's what came in the little packaging. Let me take a breather because, y'all, I was actually supposed to get this wig installed by somebody but i didn't get it installed it was just like it would be way cheaper if i was to just do it myself i've been watching videos for like a couple of days now i'm gonna be watching a video while doing it so i feel like i feel like i'm not gonna say it's gonna come out perfect because it's not gonna come out perfect this is my first time but i also don't think it's gonna come out looking just bad you know what i'm saying but yeah y'all i like i said i did do some plucking on here and i honestly think I probably did like a little, a little, I got a little carried away. Probably did a little too much plucking, but I still feel like that's not even going to matter. We just going to see what it is and what it ain't, y'all. So let me stop talking. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what videos y'all want to see me do in the future. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. All right, y'all. So the first thing I'm going to start off by doing, also, I want to give props to my sister-in-law for braiding down my hair she did a really good job i really appreciate her for that so girl if you're watching this thank you you know i already said thank you but you know thank you because i can't braid my mom can't braid nobody in this house can braid but you so thank you so y'all the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab my oil right here and i'm i'm gonna go in and oil my scalp because baby i don't like i don't that itching no ma'am no ma'am and we can't be having it. Alright y'all, so I just got done, you know, oiling the scalp. Can y'all see? But yeah, I just put oil all over my head. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my edge brush right here. And I'm going to get my gel. I'm using this Ebon 24-Hour Edge Tamer. 
it says extreme firm hold so yeah y'all i've been seeing the girls you know get it and then brush they edges back because you know you don't want your edges to be gone because that's not the way to go just come on and say hey because i can't even open the door no. this is my nephew man and that's zay and i interrupt my video so y'all can go ahead and go you say yay bye bye, bye. bye. zay out All right, y'all, so that was that. Anyways, let me go ahead and do this. y'all right, so i slicked my edges back as y'all can see so i think after you do that let me make sure on my video because y'all know i'm not gonna play i'm not gonna play and then the, this week supposed to be my senior picture wig all right y'all so i was on a video and she actually combed her so i'm just gonna go back in even though i don't think it really matters and just kind of lay mine down and comb it in and then she also blow dried it on medium heat to make it mold in place. So y'all, we gonna do that with this blow dryer. All right, y'all, so we just got done blow drying. So now we're gonna put on the wig cap. So this is gonna be a good little fun experience. So I'm using the one that came in the pack because I feel like this is kind of close to my skin tone a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna get it. Also, for my brace in the back, I kind of just wrapped it up in rubber bands, you know, to have it looking like that. Okay. So we just go set this over like that. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Let me not do too much because we haven't even started anything yet. So it's supposed to be over our ears. So like so. Okay. So we're going to see what she do next. All right, y'all. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut around the ears here. So she just poked a little hole right here. All right, y'all, so we got this one cut. All right, y'all, so now I'm going to go ahead and color my wig. So I'm kind of debating if I want to, like, use the lace tint that I got or should I just use my foundation? I'm not sure, but I'm going to just spray a little bit of this just to see, like, how we going. Pop up. This might work, but I think for the sake of it, I'm gonna still put the makeup on it just to be safe. All right, y'all, so now that we have that foundation blended, and, and I also kind of pushed it back because like, you know, the lace and stuff, I guess it would help with the lace. I mean, that's what she said. So we gonna see what it is and what it ain't. So yeah. All right. So now I'm going to just go in with my free spray. This is the Evan Lace Bonnet Hiss. Uh, a skin, oh my god adhesive spray and yeah they say that this is like really good and it's fast drying this is what everybody been using so you know i had to get it and they say spray it on the hairline 
I'm gonna just make sure. All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna go in. I'm not gonna be scared. I'm, I gotta stop being scared. I'm just gonna spray it on my hairline. All right, y'all, so I just got done spraying it. So now they say bring out the blow dryer. I'm just going to blow dry it on high. All right, y'all, so I think that it is all dry. Hopefully, it's all dry. We crossed our hands because, you know, we all got time for it. So, y'all, I couldn't even find any regular scissors. So, my dad didn't got me these big old handyman scissors. I gave it a little test. It worked. So, baby, these going to have to work because those little bitty black scissors wasn't, yeah, wasn't doing it for me. So, we're going to take our time because y'all see how big these is? Yeah, these will kill somebody poke myself and I that's it that's it and it's over with you know so I'm gonna just go and cut it up to like here like close to the hairline but not on the hairline just around it and that's what I'm gonna do and I'll get back to y'all Alright y'all, so I got done cutting it and stuff like that and here is how it turned out. I mean, it looks okay. We're gonna see how it looked like with the wig on and stuff like that. Don't mind this right here. Don't even mind it, but I'm gonna go ahead and like place this on my head so I can see where I want it at. put this little comb in the back of the wig up under my my lace and y'all this is kind of hard to do like what but we just gonna make sure it's just in there but I'm gonna take this right back off I just wanted to see like what was what with this and how I'm going to do it so here is it like with it on and it's it's giving y'all it's definitely giving for real definitely giving but i'm gonna just like go ahead and kind of part my hair a little bit to just see like what's what and i call myself like pre-parting it you know before but i didn't really do that or it would be here that's how it's looking it looks kind of weird but i'm not done yet i'm gonna trust the process i'm gonna trust the process all right y'all so what i'm gonna do i had kind of like tested out the ebon tinted lace thing on here so i'm just gonna spray some more because you know i was testing it out 
So basically I'm going to spray it like all over the top net part. And that's literally all I'm gonna do. And then after I spray this, then you go in like with the got to be, do you blow dry it dry? So we gonna see about that. so i just got done tending the lace and doing all that good stuff so now like this back piece right here i'm just gonna cut it off because i heard that it's for like if you wanted to do a ponytail but we're not doing none of that so i'm just gonna simply cut it off all right y'all so now i'm just gonna sit it where i want to on my head to see what it is and what it ain't and we're gonna cut the ears and do all of that good stuff so we're gonna see if like if you know it did what it needed to do with the lace tint and we're gonna just put this on y'all y'all do y'all see that oh my god like it literally kind of looked like um my actual color but Let's pull this down right so we can get a good look. And we're going to fix the comb in the back to um fit up under everything. Because I heard that the back comb matters like the most, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, we did that. We're going to make sure that's in there good. And we're gonna just pull this wig up on my head. All right, y'all. So I just cut the ear tabs, and that was so hard to do. I don't know if it was because of the scissors or what, but I got it on there to the best. Well, I cut them out to the best of my ability. I think I did cut too much over here, but over here seems fine. You know over here seems okay but over here i definitely cut too much and it's not it's not it but we're gonna get to like cutting the lace and all of that so yeah all right y'all so i'm back and y'all can see that's uneven because you know i cut that one a little bit wrong a little bit wrong but it's not a big difference but now i'm going to go in now this is like where i really need to figure out where i want this in my head and i think this is good right here we're gonna make us a little middle part y'all i hope this come out good i think it's gonna come out good but i'm not sure so now i'm gonna just fold it back like she said to do and this is what I'm going to go in with my glue. I got the mini version, y'all, because that stuff at my beauty supply store was, like, high. Don't know why, but it really was. Hey, right, y'all. So, I almost forgot to wipe off my forehead because they say that you're supposed to do it with alcohol. But I don't have any alcohol, so they said I can do it with witch hazel. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some witch hazel right here. And I have some cotton balls. We're just going to put some witch hazel on the cotton ball. Just gonna clean this around my hairline. All right, y'all. So now I'm about to add the glue and do that. so i'm done like melting you know not melting but 
I'm done putting the glue on here, y'all. So now I'm going to slide the lace on, and this is also a very important part. Everything in this tutorial is important. I'm sorry, y'all. I have to get my iPad because I'm gonna have to go on that video just to make sure I'm doing it right because y'all, I really don't have the time. I really don't and i'm just gonna let this glue just stay on here a little bit longer all right y'all so i'm on, i'm filming on my ipad right now because my phone ran out of storage so i'm sorry about that but now i'm about to pull this wig up on my head i'm gonna make sure everything oh i got glue in the hair y'all but i don't think that matters so i'm gonna make sure my clamps and stuff are where they need to be at because we don't need none of that you know showing or nothing it's time for the good part it's time for the good part i'm gonna pull it down i'm not gonna press it down yet i'm gonna start pressing down once i like know where i want this to sit on my head so 